Time selecting technique, also called partial stapled hemorrhoidal plexi, using specifically designed tri window anoscope, with which only part of the rectal mucosa above the prolapsing hemorrhoids is resected, with aims to spare the mucosal bridges between the mucosectomies. To begin the procedure, anal dilation was performed with lubricated CAD, first toward the umbilicus and then to the sacrum to comply with anorectal angle. The CAD, together with the tri-window anoscope, was inserted into the anus. When the CAD was withdrawn, the mucous membrane protruded through the window. The suture of 2-0 Vicro suture was placed approximately 3 centimeters above the dentate line catching the mucosa or submucosa protruding through the window. The anvil of the stapler was introduced and positioned above the suture, which was tied down to the rod. Pieces of the mucous membrane were pulled into the barrel of the stapler by the traction suture to form three fan-shaped mucosal flaps. We tend to hold the closed stapler in place for 30 seconds, which is needed to ensure a dry staple line. After firing the gun and removing the stapler, mucosal bridge will be left behind mucosectomies. At this time, mucosal bridges would be dissected using the electrocautery. The external hemorrhoids did not shrink completely and presented as residual skin tags, so minimal cutaneous excisions would be applied. The significant difference between TST and conventional stapled hemorrhoidal plexi is the preservation of normal mucosa between the mucosectomies and TST procedure, thus resulting in a better rectal compliance than that in conventional stapled hemorrhoidal plexi.